All right, so let's keep moving forward in this. Now we're going to run our application uh, without Expo. And the thing is that if you want to run it just like this, we cannot really do it. When you create an application just with Expo, Expo will create your, will bring all the files and create all the logic for, for your application for using Expo. So you cannot run a native application on the simulator with Expo, like I told you before. Now you get, uh, you get a few choices and let's assume that for example, in the future, you will start creating an application and you're gonna say, oh, okay, I'm gonna use Expo because you know it's a simple application so I can use Expo and it's gonna make my life easier. Well, that's cute, that's okay. Now, maybe later you're gonna say, oh, dude, I need to do more complex things. I just need to uh, not use Expo. And maybe you did all your project on Expo and then you just need to change it. And the problem is that, you know, you will need to change everything or create a new project and migrate, you know, everything you, you got. And that's not good. So they give you an eject way. So if you do NPM run eject, this is gonna restructure all our application to not use Expo. Now, in my, my recommendation is that if you want to create an application and you have a feeling that uh, you will need to create more complex things, just create the uh, the React application, not with Expo uh, from, from the start, from the get-go. Because sometimes the eject doesn't work that, you know, it will not work that good. Uh, I tried it with a couple of projects a uh, few weeks ago and it just killed my project and I had to, you know, migrate everything and I couldn't fix it. Oh, of course I could fix it, but I need, needed to do manually. So again, it, Expo is really good if you know that your application is going to be a simple application, if, uh, you know, if you now know. So I'm going to do Expo eject and, you know, just see what happens. Expo eject. And of course, it's going to take a minute. So then it's going to say, how would you like to eject your app? Now, it's going to give you uh, uh, three options. And if you check the documentation, I just cannot, I couldn't find anything about this. And that's the first problem with Expo. The documentation is really good, but sometimes you just not, you're not finding what you want. So you get three options, you know, cancel, of course, an Expo kit, which is kind of a mix of both, or, you know, just a React Native. And it says, I like a, rea a regular React Native project. So this is just React Native without Expo, which is what we want. So I'm going to press enter and then it's going to say, what should the app appear? Well, if you press enter, it's going to use that Expo test we used previously. All right. How, you, how should your uh, Android Studio and Xcode project be called? We're going to pretty much do the same thing. Expo test. And okay. It's going to start pretty much changing uh, your application. And notice it says removing node modules and then it's going to start install again. And notice that the structure of our application it's kind of a slowly changing. Now we have an Android directory and an iOS directory. Uh, before this, we had no access to Android and iOS. And this are the files of your Android application, you know, the native files, Gradle, you know, we can see uh, all the native files. Don't worry, we're gonna go uh, through this uh, on the, you know, with the course, as, as you advance to the course. All right, so once you eject, you know, you get what you wanted to. And notice that uh, the uh, package.json changes a little bit. And now we have different dependencies and different scripts. And we have start, and now we have Android, and now we have iOS. And notice that we can run iOS. And so these are, are the commands we can run if you want to run a simulation of our application with no expo at all on the simulator. So I'm gonna go to the simulator and just, you know, just kill it because we're going to do it right now in a couple of seconds. Now, uh, remember, just remember that if you're a Mac user, you can run Android Studio, you can run an Android simulation in your computer, and you can run an iOS simulation in your computer. Only if you're a Mac user. If you're a Windows user, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot, it, it is impossible, at least until today, uh, you cannot run an iOS uh, simulator. So if you really want to build applications uh, for your, uh, you know, for phones, you need to buy a Mac. Sorry for that. I'm, I'm not a big um, fan of Mac. I still have my Windows and I regularly uh, use it. 
but yeah, to do this, you just need a Mac. I spent a lot of money buying this Mac. I didn't really like it, but you know, it's uh, working with Mac. It's a little bit easier when you're uh, when you're a developer. Okay, so we are pretty much done with this. On the next one, we're gonna run the simulations, and I'm not gonna use this uh, project. We're gonna start a new project not with expo we are not going to start with expo at all we're going to use the uh, react native uh, commands directly so well, let's go to the next section and i'm going to do android first uh, because if you're a mac windows user you can enter that and then i'm going to do the ios which is only for mac users well, let's go to the next one and start with this <laughs> 